Fahrrad. Rovere. Polko Pyere. It may seem meaningless, but by riding your bike you can make an impact on the sustainability of your local area and help dealing with climate change. In some cities, measures are already in place to spur the use of bikes and also to restrict car circulation. However, we still need to get rid of some myths about cycling in the city. One of those myths is about cycling in cities with climbs. But cycling is increasing in cities that are known for having steep climbs. In San Francisco, 5% of routes are made on a bike, and the hilly Swiss cities of Bern and Basel are already on 15 and 23%. Another myth that keeps people away from their bikes is rough weather, like rain, snow, and wind. But this doesn't seem to be a problem for those who cycle in rainy, snowy and windy Copenhagen where 50% ride to work every day and 68% cycle at least once a week. In the last 10 years in the United States, numbers show that the more bikes on the road don't necessarily mean more accidents. The more cyclists ride in the city, the more perception of safety increases. And this means that there is safety in numbers. When asked for which changes people would need to ride a bike more often, 62% asked for more cycle lanes, 24% claim more restrictions to cars, and 14% believe that they would need more parking for bikes. Investing in infrastructures for bikes also helps the local economy in the long run. As it turns out, car drivers are not better clients than cyclists, these infrastructures are also great for local health costs. In Portland, the huge investment in bikes means that the city will save over $400 million in health costs by 2040. Even in a city that doesn't invest in bikes, the amount of hours spent in traffic jams can turn a car driver into a cyclist. In a traffic jam, the average speed of car is not as important. And in a short trip in the city, if you ride a bike, you can be as fast or even faster than a car. Even if you respect the red lights. Another advantage in riding a bike is the amount of money you save at the end of the day. As you can see, the average monthly cost for commuting in London is £458 if you ride a car, £225 if you use public transportation, and only £9 if you ride a bike. issues are also one of the biggest reasons for leaving your car in the garage. The myth that says that cyclists breathe more pollution than car drivers is just that, a myth. You actually inhale more carbon monoxide inside a car than outside, more than twice as much. And this brings us to your carbon footprint. Did you know that when you ride a bike you're responsible for only 0.2% of carbon emissions? And yes, that means that if you use a motor vehicle you're responsible for 99.8% of those same emissions. So if you care for climate change and sustainability in your hometown, try riding a bike.